if you are using Google Workspace email in Outlook, there is a big change coming in 2025, and you need to be ready. Starting in March 2025, Google is completely removing support for what is called less secure apps, meaning the old way of logging into Outlook with just a username and password will no longer work. But don't worry, in this video I will show you exactly what's changing, the deadlines you should know, which Outlook version will still work, and of course, a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Google Workspace email using the new secure method, OAuth. My name is Carlos, and I help small businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, at itwithcarlos.com. So let's jump in. First, let's talk about why this change is happening. Google is shutting down less secure apps because they rely on basic authentication, just your email and password to connect to Outlook. The problem, it is not secure. Hackers can steal passwords, and these all authentication methods are easy targets for phishing attacks. So instead, Google is switching to OAuth. This is a much safer way to log in. OAuth doesn't store your password in Outlook. Instead, it uses a secure token to grant access which keep your accounts much safer. Starting January 2025, if you try to add a new Google Workspace account using basic authentication, it will simply won't work. And by March 14, 2025, any existing connections using less secure apps will stop working altogether. Here, there are some key deadlines you need to know. January 2025, new Outlook connections using less secure apps will be blocked. March 14, 2025, less secure apps will be completely disabled. If your Outlook is still using basic authentication, it will stop syncing your emails. Google Sync is also being phased out, so if you are using it in a mobile device, you will need to switch to IMAP with all off. That means if you don't update your Outlook settings before March, you could lose access to your emails. So which version of Outlook will still work with Google Workspace email after 2025? Here are the supported versions. Microsoft Outlook from Microsoft 365, the latest version. Outlook 2019 and Outlook 2016, the retail versions only, not the MSI volume license version. These are not supported. Outlook 2013, 2010 and earlier. They won't work with all of and neither the MSI Volume License version of Outlook 2016. So, if you are using an older version, it is time to upgrade, otherwise you won't be able to connect your Gmail to Outlook anymore. Let's now jump to my computer and I will show you step by step how to configure your Google Workspace email in Outlook. Alright, let's now get into the actual step process. Follow these steps to connect your Google Workspace email account to Outlook using OAuth. By the way, if you have been using IMAP to connect your device with your Google Workspace account, you can skip these first steps, one and two. The step one, we need to enable IMAP in Google Workspace within the admin set. Let's go to the admin console. On the upper right corner, where you see the nine little dots, we will click on admin. On the left, we will click on Apps, then click on Google Workspace, then click on Gmail. On the right, we will scroll down until we see End User Access and click on it. Here, make sure POP and IMAP Access are enabled or turned on. In this example, this is already on. Let's now follow to Step 2. Within Gmail, you will click on the nine little wheel on Settings, then click on See All Settings. Then you will see the tab Forwarding and Pop IMAP. Click on it. You will scroll down and find IMAP Access. Within the IMAP Access section, you may see the option to enable IMAP. If you don't see it, it is because Google already enabled it by default. If you see the option, you will have to enable it. If you made any changes, you will click on Save Changes. And now you will be ready to add your account in Outlook. Within Outlook, you click on File, 
and then click on Add Account. Then you will enter your Google Workspace email address. For this example, we are using our Google Workspace demo account, carlos at askitb.xyz. Then we click on Connect. This login window will pop up. Then we will select or enter our Google Workspace email address. I will see Sign in to Microsoft Apps and Services. Then we need to click on Continue. You will have to grant access to your Google account. You will select here, we will scroll down, and then click on Continue. We can read here Authentication complete. You may now close this browser tab and return to your Office application. We will close it and we can read here Account successfully added. Then we can click on Done. Our Google Workspace account has been added to Outlook. If we scroll down, we will see it here. Now Outlook will start syncing your Gmail inbox. After a few minutes, we will be able to see all the emails and folders in Outlook. That's it. You are now connected using the new secure OAuth method. Now, how do you know if your Google email account is being configured using OAuth? It is simple. If you see the Google login pop-up window, then it is using OAuth. If you don't see the pop-up, then the email app doesn't support OAuth. Now here are some common issues and how to troubleshoot them. Problem, incorrect username and password error. The solution, make sure you're using OAuth. You can verify your correct password by logging in from your browser via gmail.com. Then in Outlook, remove and re-add your email account. Problem, Outlook won't sync email after March 2025. The solution, check that IMAP is enabled in both Google Admin Console and Gmail settings. Also, ensure your Outlook version support OAuth. Problem, you don't see the sign in with Google option in Outlook. Solution, you might be using an outdated Outlook version. Update to the latest Microsoft 365 version or Outlook 2019. All right, we have covered everything you need to know about Google Workspace email change in 2025. Here's a quick recap. Less secure apps are going away. You must switch to all off. March 14, 2025 is the final deadline. All login will stop working. Use Outlook 2016 retail version, 2019 or Microsoft 365. All their version won't work. Follow the step-by-step -step setup to configure your email in Outlook using OAuth. If this video helped you, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this one. Got questions? Drop them in the comment below. I will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.